Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. Emotions run high when you're going through a divorce, so it's easy to push money management aside. That's why it is so important to plan ahead in case you find yourself in that kind of situation. We're joined again by Joe Burt, the Oracle of Orlando. Joe, good to see good you. Morning, good morning. Andrea. This is a tough topic because it's something you don't want to plan ahead for, but you do right. sort of have to kind of keep it in your periphery, and then right. you see these things all the time unfold in your office. Yeah, unfortunately, the train wreck walks in, and it's, you know, a year or two after the divorce, it's a Gee, I didn't realize that this is the way it's going to be. You know, a, a divorce is like a financial death. You know, you have a death in the family, and then you know, survivors have to scramble. It's a financial death, and somebody has to try to figure out. The survivor has to try to figure out how do we get to there from here. And most times, as we were talking during the commercial break, one person in the relationship is oftentimes the CFO, the bookkeeper. Right. I see that an awful lot when we're doing planning for couples, married couples, been married for years. But there's generally one spouse, husband or the wife, who is in charge of the books, and the other spouse is oftentimes in the dark as to how all things work. And then when you get a divorce, then the surviving spouse has to figure it out. So we've got a to-do list here right. of things to consider. First off, collect all financial data. Well, you want to know where you stand, where sure. you stand with what you own and where you stand with what your spouse owns and collectively what you own. And you have to have the look at the big picture. Unfortunately, in some cases, some spouses hide this information, you know, and mm. it's where you have to, you know, keep your eyes and ears open. It can happen. Right. Determine what is separate property and what is marital property. Well, separate property is the stuff that you may have inherited during your marital life or gifts that you've gotten. However, if you co-mingle it with your spouse, it's no longer separate property. I have a case not too long ago, a woman inherited some money from her father and their marriage wasn't on the greatest of ground. She said, I want to keep this in a separate account because if we get divorced, I don't want this to be part of the settlement. Did she have to have that in writing to, to make sure that that was kind of kept separate? Well, all she, when she inherited the money, she wanted to take that money and open up a separate account. Don't ah. put her husband's name on it. Gotcha. That, that's the key. Okay. Uh, right. Look into rules of accounts or ask the plan provider. Well, you want to know what options that you have, particularly when it comes to retirement accounts, 401ks, pension plans, so on and so forth. They have different rules, and you're entitled to some of that. So you want to understand what those rules are. Your divorce attorney should help you work through that. And if you are entitled to a portion of your spouse's retirement account, look into a QDRO? Yeah, QDR, or Qualified Domestic Relations Order, and that determines how the assets are split up in a pension plan or in a 401k. And you have to be careful how you deal with this. A quadro allows allows the surviving spouse, the, divorce, the one that doesn't, didn't build the account, so to speak, you can keep that in that account, all right? However, when you take money from it, you're not subject to the 10% penalty that you would be if you took the money out before 59 and a half. So what you don't want to do is roll it over into an IRA. You keep it in the, that account under, under the quadro. Okay. The other thing I think a lot of people forget about is taking an ex-spouse off as a plan, in the oh, yeah. plan as a beneficiary. Yeah, because if you don't, it's going to go back to the ex-spouse. So, you know? <laughs> so if you have the quadro, what you want to do is put your kids or whomever would be generally get that money and uh set it up appropriately. Which might not sit well if you end on bad terms, That's right? right? Uh, right. Rebuild assets with side gig and create a budget or spending plan. Well, the most important thing is to know what it's going to take to live and where is the money going to come from? And as we said earlier in the in the, in the the discussion, the surviving spouse oftentimes doesn't have a clue as to what it takes to run the household. And now you have to run your own household and sometimes can be expensive. So figure out where you are, what it's going to take to do, and get with it. Don't be lingering around and moaning and, you know, because it's a year from now, it's going to be tougher than when you get you know, doing it right now. Plan your work and work your plan, you right? You got it. All Planning right. tomorrow today. Joe, good to see you. As always, where can people find Just you? Just Google me two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. Okay, it's that easy. My goodness, not an easy subject to talk about or approach, but it is something that we all probably need to think about.